And and a good good worm tea as against it's just got more bacteria in it. It, it gets back to numbers and species and variety as well. Um, with with it, any of the microbiology that we're dealing with under the context of the base organisms to develop the soil food web, the most elemental one is the bacteria. Mm -hmm. now, you need the numbers and the varieties and motility. They've got to be active. Yeah. Right, so if you see them rushing through and there's a lot of stuff happening, great. You've got energy, you've got life in that tea. Um, the next one is the fungi. Um, you've got to have certain types of fungi. They need to be um, it's said, and, and this is sort of the part that's argued at the moment in, in the scientific debate, but it's said if you've got around, uh, say, about two to two and a half microns up to about three or four microns, and then they're coloured, then they're likely to be the, the um, beneficials, they're not the, the disease formers, so that mainly the basidiomyces, uh, that's just a species of them. And then from there you go on and say, okay, they're the two types of um, basic uh, microorganisms, from there protozoa come in. And they're the ones that screw around, and apart from the amoeba, you've got flagellates and ciliates. Have you seen any of those mm. in the text? Yeah, yep. yeah. Not many ciliates, I don't like them being in there. They're yeah, the bad ones, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. They're just a good indicator that the tea's gone anaerobic, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and, and so you've got those and amoeba as well. And they're the ones that consume the bacteria and fungi. Yeah. Uh, and create nutrient cycling and start building up a nutrient cycle that the plant can access as well.